This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart months. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brahma Lopio. Now, if you are in a scenario where you are not getting enough sex in your marriage, what do you do? That is why Benjamin is here today. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, and so in marriage, you're supposed to, okay, you don't start having sex before. Yeah. But you should also discuss it uh -huh. to, to, to test expectations. Okay. To gauge it with the theory you have read and the way you feel yourself. <laughs> Ask the expectations. Yes. We said... There are two preparatory counseling, two types of pre preparatory counseling before marriage. Mm -hmm. One is pre-engagement. Mm -hmm. Before you choose Bramwell, yeah. get a professional to confirm whether your lives are aligned. Mm -hmm. Because you fell in love, it's not enough. Yeah. You also need to make sure you are aligned. Aligned. Love is very wonderful and we don't want to lose it. So we tend to want to go with the flow and avoid rattling the boat, avoid disturbing and ju just, just make it work. Yeah. It takes discipline and wisdom to still check even after you fall in love with whatever you, car, house, whenever you fall in love with things, we get emotional. Mm -hmm. But when you consider this thing is long term, if it were a shoe, you'll only lose the money for the shoe. Yeah. But if it's something like that is long term like marriage, even after falling in love with that lady, how well she is a wonderful and you feel all this chemistry and you there is all this wonderful if 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 you have that fallen in love, remember the following. Love is only one component. There's another thing called alignment. Many people married when they were not aligned and their marriage is very empty. One lives in Lokichogyo, another one in Mombasa. They share a home and children and nothing else. Their lives are not facing the same direction. Their friendship dried. They, they're just entangled. Sometimes when you want to pick a detail, like you're picking a watch or a lapel and you kept them together, you realize they have become unintentionally attached mm -hmm. you have to disentangle some people got attached and mixed together and you have to disentangle so it's not always a connection it's not always a relationship it's not always a healthy bond some people are together because they can't disentangle and it's a very difficult thing yeah. that is lifeless painful that is confusing the children and I hope you know the biggest spread the biggest cause of this gay thing and sexual distortion is not Hollywood it's dysfunctional families yeah it's the pain children see in marriage and they say I don't want this exactly. what else is there so many are going there to look for alternatives because this was too painful mm -hmm. so the, 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 there, are many, there are several things in this life you should know privately and don't announce to the world so that you don't look bad <laughs> Please. <laughs> Today we are discussing one of those things. You should not broadcast it. But neither should you ignore it. Mm -hmm. For example, can you do without sex for three months? <laughs> for eight months? When you are single, it's a very different season. You have mm -hmm. the grace and there's no meat in front of you. You know, it, yeah. it's easier to fast when it, you are not in the kitchen. <laughs> You declare this is a fasting period <laughs> and you tighten your belt. Yeah. And then this is a, you actually take your energy elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Take your energy to job, take your energy yeah. to this, take your energy and your mind. It's a lot of mental setting. When you are married, the mind knows it's the season. Your body knows it's the season. And for somebody to deprive you when you are there, it's torture, it's yeah. tormenting. And one of the things I don't want you to be too polite. You know, it may look very bad for you to tell people that you can't do without sex. You know, <laughs> it doesn't sound very... I mean, Brother Brahma, are you okay? <laughs> you know, much less for a lady. Imagine a lady stating categorically. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't look good. But it is still a very important subject. So some things in life are private toolbox, okay? 
in your private toolbox. Don't show it, but make sure it's there. <laughs> One of your private requirements, <laughs> which you don't broadcast, but neither do you compromise with it. Yeah. You know, sometimes your budget is awkwardly off when you compare with the shop you came to. So you ask the price and you maintain a dignified face. They tell you a very outrageous price. And uh, compared, you only to buy a trouser for a thousand shillings. Yes. Unfortunately, you meander to the upper side of Moy Avenue. <laughs> you found yourself somewhere in, in, in True Worth. <laughs> and you saw a good trouser. And you innocently <laughs> inquired about the price. And when they mentioned 9,800, and your budget was the, the 8, no, no, not the 9, okay. <laughs> You have a thousand, which is also the fare back home, yes. and you're hoping they turn it. Now, this guy is not measuring the white hundred; he's adding another, <laughs> another thousand. <laughs> so nine thousand eight. No, oh, you don't act shocked. <laughs> so your money is part of your private toolbox. The budget you're working with is part of your <laughs> private toolbox. You don't announce it, but you know. You calculate. Okay, yeah. You maintain a straight face. Yes. You don't also jump out. You also uh, check one other commodity, and you say you shall be back. That's how you operate with private toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> it would be shameful to ask whether they have anything eight hundred. Yeah, and you can see surely the range. It is, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. all your outfit together plus the shoes. <laughs> so when 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 you approach life, you, there are some sincere things you need to be very clear about. And you walk out of uh, true worth politely, knowing uh, uh, there are scales to this thing. I, I, it's not that I don't have faith, that I'm, my faith is growing. <laughs> One day, uh, I, you know, <laughs> so you too, when it comes to matters of bedroom, because you're not likely to be, the pre-engagement counseling is where you ask the person how much sex they expect. Yeah. Just the expectation. You're trying to rule out obsession. Some people are not healthy, disciplined in the area of appetites with food, appetites with the sex, appetites with the, 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 the. anything that you like, anything that we need can also become distorted. Exactly. And we have names for addiction with food, bulimia. We have names for addiction with sex. We have conditions. We have. So, what if this person's expectations are out of range? They want it daily, mm -hmm. and you hear some preaching, very, very male-dominated uh, or male chauvinistic, telling the woman whenever the man wants, you know, you respond. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's how you keep him from straying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so they emphasize one side as if it's the man who needs it only, mm -hmm. and so. The one thing you need to do to prevent yourself from being starved in marriage and having discord in terms of expectations is prior discussion. Yeah. And to make sure this person is not being selfish or obsessed mm -hmm. and they're not being addicted with, with, with this thing and they're putting in a place where you can't even manage it. Some of the expectations are too wild. Some of the things they want are too fearful. Um, remember... Also, we said when you respect a person, there are some uh, things about sex you want to do with them, especially things that bring objectification, yeah. that uh, th th they seem to demean, uh, reduce them to body parts or uh, an object of your satisfaction. There's supposed to be mutuality. Mm -hmm. There's supposed to be a degree of cherishing and respecting and specialness. There's supposed to be a kind of, you know, holding dear. There's supposed to be a, a, a level of... Uh, hugging or embracing with gentleness and even inside yourself you, are, you, you see them as a person mm -hmm. who you cherish as a soul not just a body yeah. and we want there we said um, women to be careful not to be objectified they are the most frequently objectified men can also get objectified when people are focusing only on the size of your organ or how it applies in your clothes or something but women are the most frequently mm -hmm. many of them invite the, object, the objectification by focusing attention only on some body parts when they're dancing they turn to face the other way and they're shaking that particular part of their body or they dress in a way that pronounces announces makes this one prominent this body part so that people can see your personality they only see that body part and we say objectification is demeaning yeah. but when you're not aware 
you may think appearing sexually attractive is just showing that part and we said the solution for a young lady is to face the world and men with your face will you just talk to people uh, present don't take photos facing the other way mm -hmm. don't 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 emphasize and don't bring cameras just where you know it makes us to see you as if that's the most important part of you your sexuality will be visible people will still see you have a good shape will mm -hmm. still see you have a good whatever you like they will still see it but it should be as a side glow i mean <laughs> with the emphasis or the headline being who you are mm -hmm. then on top of that you are also this pretty on top of being intelligent and likable and honest and and thoughtful and charming and easy to converse and a good listener those things are more eternal and internal those things are more irreplaceable mm -hmm. keep the, the personality in front and let people fall in love with your body on top of <laughs> Who you are the first solution is discuss it ahead get to see that you can manage what they're what they're hoping for mm -hmm. okay <laughs> the second solution <laughs> with with um sex inside marriage is candid discussion candid means even when you are inside even when you mean well your energies will vary mm -hmm. and your schedules sometimes people are doing some things according to how much free time they have yeah and how much variety there is in their life some people don't have any other entertainment hobby uh, friendships uh, you know a, a, a habit something that brings any pleasure in their life that's why you shouldn't marry an idler because you become their distraction their entertainment their stress relief mm -hmm. their boredom relief and and because they are always free that boredom is quite frequent and now you're supposed to respond to the frequent boredom do you see other hidden reasons you also need a working person <laughs> be careful brother make sure your woman is also big. <laughs> yeah, please, please make sure there is another outlet for energy okay yes <laughs> so that there's another place <laughs> sex is just energy mm -hmm. sometimes you may have the urge but you don't have the energy you have spent it elsewhere and you're happy but if it's your life is just stagnant one dimensional you may have too many requirements where the, the person can't meet so we are saying L develop openness which is not natural for most africans it's a taboo topic we did not hear it discuss it was not something that was on the table many people assume yeah they even switch off the lights and shut the doors and everything it's a secret thing so it's not secret it's sacred mm -hmm. all right some people become too brazen and they display it too much that is also unhealthy the healthy thing is to believe to 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 to, to unleash that fear to remove to offload that fear of what if i get rejected mm -hmm. and then get to you don't become pornographic or too vulgar these are level of respectability which you can still discuss things but still make sure you're communicating mm -hmm. um and I, I want you to marry a friend so that you can be embarrassed awkward with them mm -hmm. you marry a person you fear you can't go as far as being uh, discussing uncomfortable things and as a as a man I don't want you to marry a woman who feels like a challenge. You know, some men were hard working and pioneers and career men. They are thrilled by challenge. Yes. <laughs> they took the hard program. <laughs> they, they take the hard audience. <laughs> they are given the tough task yes. and they're comfortable there. And that's their pride. Mm -hmm. They are mentioned every day. Did you hear what Brahman did? <laughs> what no other guy delivered? This guy delivered with ease. And asked whether there is another, I mean, uh, <laughs> tough assignment. <laughs> so if you are used to being a conqueror <laughs> of tough territories, when it comes to dating, please, you want flow, not fight. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You're looking for? Flow. Not fight. <laughs> <laughs> so don't marry a woman who is very challenging. A little bit aloof and removed and detached and ambivalent. <laughs> unsure. That's when you are married because you are you're never threatened by challenges. Yeah. <laughs> don't matter your woman is a challenge because going to those places of discussing your private lives will become impossible mm -hmm. again if a woman is halfway interested it's because her heart is elsewhere and it's not always with another man her heart could simply be in confusion where am i what time is it what do i want brother mm -hmm. be 
careful not to marry people who seem not very sure. There's another thing going on underneath. Yeah. And they may be cooperating because, as I told you, when you are very helpful to people who are otherwise stranded, they may cooperate for survival. Not romance. You, you are in love, then they're in survival. <laughs> So you, you, they saw a rescue, you, you saw a romance, yes. you are singing. And have you gone to those disturbing weddings where everybody is happy except me? <laughs> <laughs> My brother, <laughs> learn to be observant in wedding. <laughs> you may find that everybody really, really, really except you. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? Imagine, the ones who attended are happy yes. than the one who is married. <laughs> And they have this enigmatic expression. Yeah. Not sad, you not smile, a mm. grim. You know that you can put a grim there. <laughs> <laughs> and you are going with emotions. And one brother started crying endlessly, incessantly, during the vows. And the Vikai say, repeat after me. <laughs> so people at first they assumed it is the joy of getting married. But when the sobs became deeper and are coming from the stomach, you know at first when it's only shallow, it comes from here. Mm. But when it <laughs> <laughs> begins to, to come <laughs> <laughs> the Vika had to manage the situation by giving a commercial break <laughs> for you know <laughs> sometimes people are fighting their conscience yeah people know they're walking into a mistake and many of them flawed with it because it is too late to stop now mm -hmm. <laughs> the train of wedding has picked momentum <laughs> So he must be bored and get married. <laughs> and even many of these ministers are very benevolent. They understand you can change your mind last minute. Mm -hmm. And they genuinely tell you, before we get into this, are you still sure? Even in the back office, yeah. they still check the mood. Uh, Brahma, are you still... Uh, are we? They're testing the mood. Mm -hmm. and if you say it, is it possible to get one man? That has, no problem. The, the, the loss now is financial. Yeah. But if you go in... The loss will be many multi-dimensional. If you cancel a wedding, most loss is just financial. Yeah. And just the, the inconvenience of people who had come and all that, some clothes. But after a year, will that matter? No. Will that matter? No. After a year, it's forgotten. Mm -hmm. But if you fear, embarrassing, and then you jump in, you are giving your whole life away to something you're not sure about. Yeah. The second solution is learn to, com to converse openly about it. And the third thing, which is very unusual now and very difficult for men, because we are, we are taught that men are not emotional, men are logical. Mm -hmm. It, it appears like being emotional is weak, it's, it's feminine, it, it's woman-like. It, 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 it. Be in touch with your own feelings and get to know what feeling is saying what. Mm -hmm. Diverse, you know, one, understand you are in a emotional cycles. Sometimes men, with, uh, they have to teach women very difficult lessons that... It's not every time that they, they appear like the body is in that mood that they're thinking about that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's another biological process. But some men don't know. They think every, every time the body is responding a certain way, it is about sex. Sometimes it's about the hour of the day when the biological adjustments and fires are closing. Yeah. <laughs> Could <Couldn't> just be. <laughs> you know? Sometimes it's not, it's, it's not always that. Many men don't have understa understanding. So, as a result, you see them online, you meet them in your life, obsessed with every woman, every, uh, every body who appears sexually attractive, because they don't understand that the body is not always asking for sex, sometimes just other things. Mm -hmm. In fact, many people go to sex to quiet another disturbance. Okay, the, the caves men go to, David went to the cave of Adulam. You hear the story of caves a lot. Mm -hmm. And we got it from the war times. Where men would go when they are in, when they are told, when they are threatened. So David went to the cave of Adulam to escape uh, Saul, and Saul tried to follow him there. And because he had mastered the cave, he could trick him mm -hmm. still inside the cave. And some caves men go to our alcohol. Many of these clubs are not clubs; they are hideouts. Yeah. Some of them actually the name is a hideout. Mm -hmm. I told you the names of clubs suggest the energy there. This one is called hideout. hideout. What are you hiding from? This <laughs> creeper. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this. <laughs> one of them is alcohol and the reason they are always packed you see is because the reason men flock to clubs is not always because they are addicted although addiction is part of it mm -hmm. but many of them because they are looking to cure another pain that is harder to deal with directly mm -hmm. many of them don't have a deeper sense of connectedness to who they are whenever alcohol fades away 
They feel so lost, disturbed, confused, agitated, irritable, disoriented. They need alcohol to uh, close that. And then they become happy. Yeah. You've seen those people become mm -hmm. happy when they're drunk? Mm -hmm. But they're not drunk. They're very silent because the truth is conscience. Yeah. The conscience is not connected with their life that is... The career is not where they wanted. Their family is not all they, they wanted. Their, their, their money, they don't have the kind of money they want. The respectability, the time is going. The years are here. You do not get to where. You do not achieve with this. You are not... Re that truth is too present, too hard to deal with. So get some alcohol and alcohol. <laughs> Let me tell you when I was young. And they tell you stories and mm -hmm. they are... And you're also embarrassed because you know you're, you're talking to their drunkard representative. Mm -hmm. The real person is not present. When they get sober, they, you can't even continue where they, you left. Yeah. There are men who go to club to avoid the life they don't want. So they create a make-believe. One psychologist said he met a one woman who was so happy uh, in her psychotic episode. Mm -hmm. This was not alcohol, it was stress-related. Mm -hmm. She had stayed in such a stressful relationship. She had gotten psychotic episodes of disconnecting from reality. But in that make-believe world of a psychotic world, she was a queen who was loved, who was cherished, who had all these, uh, you know, maids who were always following her, attending her. So every now and then, today, she will be in the garden. Today we are attending the garden. Today we are, uh, you know, dressing the flowers. We are picking apples and, and the, the cherry blossoms and telling her. Fantasy world of telenovela. But it's real to her. Mm -hmm. And the psychologist the, 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 uh, decided not to cure her. Because that world was happy. <laughs> <laughs> Originally she was collapsing and dying of depression. Yes. Then she snapped. It was another make-believe world. That was perfectly happy. <laughs> she was so peaceful and she was eating. Take it. But now, uh, so have you seen my maid? This maid, and uh, she's introducing you to her maid. Uh, there's nobody, okay, but. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my driver. This is my. And she's, you know, this. And after thinking, he said, if, I, if, 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 if we bring her back to reality, she's dying. Mm -hmm. If we leave her to fantasy, she's happy. So, on the balance of probabilities. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, no, I will not administer that medication. Is he eating? Yes. Is, is there any other danger? No. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not threatening anyone. Just happy. It, the happiness is very hard to find. Okay, it was an unusual kind of thinking. <laughs> but it's to say some people who are going to club or to sex even to escape a life mm -hmm. they don't want. And it's to say make sure your life, you know you're balanced. And you're doing sex for connection not to fix another problem mm -hmm. many people the reason they want too much sex is because it's a fix it's a, it's a shot of cocaine yeah lastly how to enhance and make it um rich is to bring back your child the inner child bring back when you say the inner child you mean the emotional life mm -hmm. many people have since lost touch with the emotional life they have since become too grown up and serious sex is weird you can't do it when you're serious <laughs> Try to kiss a person on a serious note. Okay, I'm supposed to kiss you. Let's get it done. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> you can't, please. Some people, their sex life is dry because their own personality is dry. <laughs> Don't joke with life. They work well, they come home. Do you know why people become so rigid and straight line to avoid the emotional life yeah when they used to be easy and vulnerable they were hurt mm -hmm. so badly mm -hmm. they took off to another persona of ceo and representative have you ever heard those guest of owners who made you sick yes <laughs> no joke no nothing people are trying to entertain them like that comedian went to entertain military only to realize the environment here is different he is used to when he drops the punchline People die with laughter. Mm. Here they're just shaking. Mm. Now you have made your joke. And the, 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 the host was satisfied. My brother, you've done a very good job. Him, he was already disappointed, distraught. <laughs> but did you not get people shedding? No, here we also laugh in a disciplined manner. Mm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not all military are like that. That was just an environment. And I believe the particular leader on site matters. Mm -hmm. Many leaders are very liberal. Yeah. You may find so if you had a principal or a, or a head or a CEO or somebody who, who has that 
stage rigid personality they perform very well career wise but you also feel like this work is also a hideout for them mm -hmm. it's like there's a life they don't like you never see them laughing you see laughing playing being vulnerable sharing being easy is your inner child mm -hmm. many people have detached their inner child because of past pain past trauma and even when it comes to bedroom is for a purpose Now, surely, if it is uh, for a, a, a purpose, imagine your wife telling you when you think of that activity, you should give me sufficient notice <laughs> for psychological and emotional preparation and to make sure you also um, organize um, the house in a manner likely to facilitate. <laughs> what are we discussing? Are you even going... Many people can't enjoy intimacy because the child is still cringing in a corner. I was working with one guy who had about five serious wounds, emotional wounds, serious. A father rejection, a dad who chased him away. A mom who used to beat him to a pulp. Mm -hmm. And people who rejected, who abandoned five and he's successful, he has fought his way to career, but his tone is monotone, mm -hmm. explaining with facts. No jokes, no nothing. When you talk something like you perceive like you, it's a joke and you laugh, he waits for you to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Politely waits for you to laugh and then he picks up, as I was saying, And he's not hostile. He's very polite. He's not even bitter. He just learned to switch off the emotions. Mm -hmm. Deal with the facts. Feelings are too much. And he delivers at work. But he said he feels like he's collapsing. He has been running on empty. I tell him, brother, you're wounded. Your inner child switched off because it was wounded. Mm -hmm. And part of the struggle was the sex life was not there. Just mechanical. Yeah. And he said, the wife is dissatisfied, said, you too, you don't know what is satisfaction. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you cannot go there when you are this cringed and in pain. The solution is to say, arouse the inner child enough. Some people will say, because the, when, you take, when you say when you're not getting enough sex in your marriage, people think of a person who's holding back. If your partner is deliberately holding back and they don't want to discuss, and they don't want to, you know, handle whatever is happening, Sometimes a problem may arise, a stressor may have a disease or condition, something. People may go through phases. This woman get a child, got a child, and after that season, her energy is yet to, and she feels she's not excited about mm -hmm. it. And you know a man, you don't want to always feel like you are forcing. Yeah. Like you are, you know, you don't want to feel that every day. If a person is being resistant, we say the solution is always three-prong. One is assume that they are genuinely overwhelmed by mm -hmm. what happened and organize for counselors sometimes coaches you don't go to them you bring them in yeah <laughs> when the person you want to take there does not even see the need mm -hmm. <laughs> you're pressed somewhere they're supposed to help you in there but they're not cooperating mm -hmm. you bring in someone yeah. you do as much as you can or you set up a meeting when they're not aware mm -hmm. discuss it assume they're generally overwhelmed the next thing is assume it's a matter of time and give it reasonable time mm -hmm. Reasonable. It's not that they gave, they delivered, and then within first week, two weeks, already very impatient. And we're not saying years. We're talking about the time that the healing or the recovery of whatever they're dealing with has reasonably elapsed. Mm -hmm. You had a conflict, you had a dispute three months back. After three months, and they're still keeping you there. Because some people, if you had some, uh, an, uh, something had happened, they can hold you ransom forever. The yeah. last solution we said is, when you realize now they have started starving you, they are risk, you are risking being changed to another person. A cheater. Or sometimes people don't, don't cheat physically. They fantasize cheating the whole day. Mm -hmm. When men are derived, de 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 deprived, we can talk about men because you know that side from inside. Yeah. You, have, you start see your appetites start running all over and you are seeing sexual images all over. Everybody now is nice. Everybody is beautiful. Everybody, and you can't concentrate. You are drooling. You are imagining. You can be turned to a half insane by sexual deprivation. Mm -hmm. Do not underrate it. 
When you are anticipating, you are disappointed. Anticipating, disappointed. Over time, what do you become? A sex animal, imaginating, lust. Sometimes it's not lust, it's a hunger. Okay? Genuine hunger. A brother was being starved until he's salivating for everything. You know, you ask some people which soda they take. They say any because they don't want to risk missing. <laughs> no, surely we were asked that. Visited a home. Which soda? No, I meant it if I say cox. Unfortunately, <laughs> to avoid tying yourself, you say any. <laughs> It was also sincere because people choose soda after they have tasted all the others and picked one, isn't it? Mm. Where had I tasted them? So sometimes it's, <laughs> it's not lying. It's sincere. I'm still in that chapter of exploring. The rest of you had time. <laughs> and then sometimes you see people behaving like they are hitting on everyone. Or be, and we are not justifying flirting every time. We are saying, you who was previously disciplined and self-controlled mm -hmm. can be changed to lasting after everyone because you're being starved. Mm -hmm. Very good, yes. All right. Uh, l let me begin with arousing the inner child. Benjamin, the reason as to why most of us cannot arouse the inner child is because we have unfinished business with our childhood. Yes. And within this context, maybe uh, for those people at the very first time it happened, they associate it with pain, mm. depending on the circumstances that is. Correct. They associate sex with pain. Mm. How do you deal with that? It's, it's, it's the pain you have to cure. Because if a person was, the pain affected their desirability, their self-esteem. Yeah. They, they keep, every time you, you want to desire them, you want to bring that, they feel like, because I disagree with the evaluation. Remember, mm -hmm. whenever you view me higher than, a, than I view myself, I'll always disagree mm -hmm. and oppose. Mm -hmm. So if that pain made you feel like you are ugly mm -hmm. and desirable, you know, one man dated a girl who went and told people he was toothpick. If he does not heal the toothpick insult, and it gets, you know, you can't remove for people to prove, you know. Yeah. So uh, I advise men to always sleeping with women before marriage because you're giving her weapons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can say something you can't counter. Yeah. And some go posting anonymously. So girls, today we are talking about uh, toothpicks. So um, when you go out there, be careful. <laughs> some things are not spoons. They're just... <laughs> to and people know the context. Yeah. You know those implied insults. Mm -hmm. If the man does not recapture his self-esteem and knows he's the one who is bitter, toxic, and, 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 and mean and malicious, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I love myself the way I am. And I'm okay with my life. If he does not get there, he will get to a place where he suffers erectile dysfunction that is more psychological than it is mm -hmm. uh, physiological. He suffers fear of not not measuring up yeah and part of why part of how we cure sometimes uh, dysfunction how they cure uh, those guys who deal with it they say it sometimes when you can't detect any biological physical physiological explanation it's psychological it's a fear the person has that they won't measure up they were insulted by another person so badly they were meant to feel like they're not enough so if it is coming from a place of pain focus on the pain first and mm -hmm. you may you may you may realize that all the other things disappear Yes. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes it is not that you need a relationship, you need therapy. So for you to arouse the inner child, seek therapy. Thank you so much for watching the Benjamin Zulu Show till next time. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart moments. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, Better family life, better person.